Good morning, esteemed viewers. Welcome to our mathematics tutorial for today. In today's tutorial, we'll solve this Olympiad exam question. We're asked to solve for y if y divided by 2 is equal to the cube root of y. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a like. Also, subscribe to my channel. Remember to also press the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I upload my latest Mass Olympiad daily uh, mathematics solution. Thank you. Now, to solve this question, if you are given this question in your exams, what is the first thing you do? The first thing you do, according to mathematics, mathematics requires a step-by-step -step solution. The first obstacle we see in this question is the is the cube root. So the first thing you should think of doing is to first of all clear the cube root. And once you clear the cube root, you see the answer to this question very very simplified. And what do you think we we'll do if we want to clear the cube root? If you want to clear a cube root, then the first step to take is to cube both sides. Now let's cube both sides. This will give us y divided by 2, all cube, and this will be equal to 3 to the root of y, all cube. So according to rule of mathematics, this group will clear this cube. And on the right hand side, we'll have only y, and this will be equal to, it is permissible in mathematics to separate this exponent. So this will give us 2 to the power of 3 and uh, y to the power of 3. Now when we simplify this for that, this will give us y to the power of 3 divided by 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to uh, 8, all equal to y. Now what we need to do is to cross multiply. And once we cross multiply, we'll have uh, 8y we'll have our y to the power of 3 to be equal to 8y. Now you will see that the result to that question is gradually pumping out. So that will give us that value. So what we need to do is to bring this part to that, uh, bring y to the power of 8 to the left hand side. Once we've brought that, this will now give us y to the power of 3 minus 8y and this will be equal to 3. Now this is more of a, a quadratic equation or we say it's a polynomial equation. In these two equations something is common, y is common, so we'll bring out y and this will be y squared minus 8. All is equal to 0. So from here we can see our y is equal to 0, we have two solutions, y is equal to 0 and y squared minus 8 is also equal to 0. Now we've gotten one solution for y which is y equal to what? 0. So we'll take the other equation to be y squared minus 8 equal to 0. So once this comes this way, our y squared will be equal to 8. So what do we do from here? We can simply square root both sides to clear the square. So for square root both sides, we are going to have y square equal to plus or minus square root of 8. So this will clear this and then we'll have our y to be equal to plus or minus. This square root will become 4 times 2 because 4 times 2 will become 8. And what will that solution give us? Our y according to sword that will give us plus or minus square root of what? 4 multiplied by square root of what? 2. So this will be equal to plus or minus 2 root 2. So the solution to this at exponential equation, our y will be equal to 0, right? right? We'll have uh, root 2 which is a positive 2 root 2 and we have the negative 2 root what 2. This is the solution to that exponential equation. Now I want to give you a simple tax. 
and the tax I want to give you is bring out this value of y and test test it with the main question we've been given to find out if our solution is right if that is right then you know that the values we've gotten for y are all correct this is all i have for you for now thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass olympiad solutions Bye-bye for now.